Peace, what's up? My name is Mackenzie and welcome to Book Miss Day 3. For Book Miss Day 3, we are going to be going over my top 23 books I wanted to read and cry because I grabbed one of the wrong books. In this video, we are going to be going over this stack of books to see which ones I actually read. Now, I did not make a 2023 or oh my gosh, I'm sorry, 2022 TBR. I've been saying 2023, I'm sorry, but I did not make a list. I made one in my bullet journal, but I didn't make a video on it. Um, so we aren't going to be reacting to a video today, but we are going to be reacting to my bullet journal spreads. So the first two I want to go over are books that I don't, I am not going to take the time to find because one of them is in a tote somewhere in this apartment. And then I believe the other one I unhauled. First, let's talk about The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I did read this. I actually DNF'd it at 33% of the way through. It was literally the most pointless book I've ever tried to read. Um, if I was going to rate it, I'd give it two stars, but I don't think I gave it a rating on Goodreads because I didn't think it was fair to skew that, but I would literally give it two stars. I did not like it. I thought it was pointless. Um, I just didn't get the, I didn't get the hype with it. So there's that one. And then I have Love and Thumps and The Whispering Door, I believe is what it's called by Albert Sky. Um, I did not read this book. And I'm kind of tempted to unhaul the whole series. It's like a seven book series. This is the one that I can't be bothered to go and dig through the totes in my bedroom to find. It might even be in here in the closet. I don't know. But these are books from my childhood. Now, I had only read the first one and I actually reread the first one last year and I really enjoyed it. However, I just don't know if I'm ever going to get to the second one. And if I'm not, I should just unhaul it. But um, I think... If I definitely don't read it next year, then I'm definitely going to unhaul the whole series. Just, I'm not ready to let go yet, of it yet. Next, we have Wicked Souls by Katie Wismer. I did indeed finish this book up. Um, I think I started it at the end of December last year, and I finished it up in February or March. I was in kind of a reading slump. Not the book's fault, my fault, um, but I ended up rating this five stars. This is the second book in the Marionette series by Katie Wismer. Definitely my favorite book in the series so far. In fact, I've actually read the third book, Bloodless Ties Now too, and that was phenomenal as well. Um, but I really loved Wicked Souls. I thought it was phenomenal. Um, I'm so glad that this is one of the ones I was able to get to this year. Next, we have These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan, and this is another one that I'm happy to say that I did read. Um, I absolutely adore this book. I think I gave it four stars or maybe five stars. I cannot remember, um, but I really enjoyed this book. I'm so glad I was able to get to it when I was, and I have the second book on my shelf somewhere. I just need to get it and read it because yep, this book was so fantastic. Um, I pitch it as like the Cruel Prince series meets Akatar. I love it. It is so good. Um, I can't wait to reread this and annotate it eventually. Not there yet, but uh, I love this book. It was so phenomenal. I love the main character, so she's great. Next on the dock, we have Wheel of Time, book one. It, uh, the Eye of the World. <laughs> Look at this. This is the best thing of my life. However, I have not read this yet. Um, this was on my TBR because I actually got this last Christmas and I did want to collect the whole 13 book series this year and like read it as I like bought them, if that makes sense. But I never got around to reading this for the pure fact that I guess I just was never in the mood for it or it just wasn't in front of my face so I didn't think to read it. But I also want to do a series reading these books and I'm really intimidated doing that. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know down below. Um, but yeah, I am excited to read this eventually. I am. I just haven't gone around to it. Also, I love this cover. I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. So next we have Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Skyward series. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised to say that I did get to this this year. Um, the reason I'm surprised is because I had to read the two novellas in between the second and third book. And I didn't think I was going to, but I did, um, and I really enjoyed this. This is arguably the weakest one in the series for me. I still liked it. I think I gave it four stars, maybe. Um, favorite cover of the series. I love the pink. Pink is my favorite color, in case you were wondering, but yeah, I got around to this. I did enjoy it. Just, 
didn't love it as much as I wanted to. Next we have one that I could be persuaded to unhaul and that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novig. So I have not read this yet. I love the cover. I love the premise. Like a school trying to kill its students. Love that. Sounds so fun. However, Becca from Becca in the Books has said that it is not a good time reading this physically. Like you should listen to the audiobook and I have no problem doing that. Um, I just need to find the audiobook somewhere. Um, I don't really want to use one of my Audible credits on it, but if I have to, I will. Um, but yeah, this is one of arguably the most beautiful covers that I own on my shelf as well. And yeah, I do want to get to it at some point. I just, it's not going to happen this year, unfortunately. Next, we're going to get into the ones that I'm really thinking about on hauling, but I haven't pulled the plug yet. So first off, we have Happily Ever Afters. The price tag is still on here because if I try to rip it off, um, the sticker literally does not come off. Like the sticky part of the sticker, it just stays on there. So it's safer like this. Um, but the reason I haven't picked this up, despite this adorable cover, oh my gosh, I love it. I want it tattooed on my body. Um, I haven't picked it up because it is contemporary romance and I believe it is like high school contemporary romance and that is not my jam necessarily. Um, but. I remember reading the synopsis. I think this book is about a writer and that's why I really wanted to read it. Uh, definitely if I don't read it next year, I'm gonna probably unhaul it because, you know, books taking up shelf space that I could use for other books, you know. Okay, then we have The Cost of Knowing by Brittany Morris. Um, okay, here's the deal with this one. This book sounds so interesting every time I read it, like the inside lap. Um, it sounds so interesting. However, I am just not interested in it anymore. Yeah, this is one of the books that I am just, I have no interest in reading anymore. Um, so this might be an unhaul as well, but I'm not ready to let go of it. So I think this is another one where if I don't read it next year, it's probably going to have to be unhauled, um, unfortunately. But I love this cover. And, um, I think Brittany Morris also wrote Slay, which I'm interested in. So I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna have to think about this, but... I definitely think if I don't read this next year, it's gone. Next, let's talk about Yoke by Mary H. K. Choi. So I've tried to read this a couple times. I have not finished it. Um, and unfortunately, I just don't know if this book is for me. Um, I don't like the main characters, POV. And I'm having such a hard time with this book in particular because I know Chloe loves it. I think Caitlin might as well. But Isabella from Throne of Pages that I trust my life with, she doesn't like this book. She rated it two stars. But this cover is like so stunning and I, I want to love it. So this is probably another one that I'm going to keep on my shelf for another year. But if I don't read it, it's probably gone. Next, we have The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. First of all, this cover. This cover. This cover. I love this. I'm obsessed with this. It is so beautiful. It's like an oil painting. I love it. Have not read this though. Um, this is one that I was actually going to read in November or October maybe. Um, and I just never got around to it, but I'm definitely going to read this next year. Mark my words, it's going to happen. Um, because if you haven't seen the cover for the second book, I'll pop it right here too. It is gorgeous and I'm so excited. And for some reason, this just sounds like my kind of book. So I'm keeping it. I'm going to read it next year. Just don't know when yet. <laughs> okay. We, we're getting some big disappointments here that I haven't read, but that's okay. A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Favorite author. Favorite author. Haven't read this yet. Um, I'm really bummed about it, but um, I don't think I this year have been in the mindset to read this book. And that's why I think I haven't picked it up. Um, I'm definitely going to read it next year. Like, no, no qualms about it. I need to read it next year. I think either the next book in this series or the next book in <laughs> the other book series I'm about to talk about is coming out next year. And I want to read this. I want to annotate it. I want to know why everybody loves it so much because I'm feeling, I'm feeling the FOMO with this book, to be honest. And I'm intrigued to see if I'll like it because I've heard such mixed things on Court of Silver Flames. A lot of people that I love watching, um, they love it. Um, but Bella, again, from Throne of Pages, hates it. So I'm interested to see. And then this. This is this is it. This is the most disappointing thing I could say in this video. I have not read this. I love Crescent City. Crescent City 
even though I love Akatar and I love Throne of Glass and Throne of Glass is my favorite series, Crescent City or um, House of Sky and Breath, House of Earth and Blood, I mean, might be way up there with my favorite Sarah J Maas books. Like I love it so much. Um, and I haven't gotten to this one yet and I'm so disappointed by that. I need to get to it. I'm just really scared of this and I heard really bad things about the ending and now we're just making up excuses, but um, I'm really scared. And I also really wanted to reread the first book, but I don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. So I might just have to go into this. I'm nervous about this one though. I'm nervous. So we have King's Bane by Clara Legrand. As you can see, I am currently actually reading this right now and I love it so much. I think I'm scared to finish this because I know I'm going to want to read Lightbringer. Um, but I love this book so far. It is so phenomenal. Claire Legrand is such a good author. Um, this book could make her a favorite author of all time. I love this book so freaking much. The 142 pages I've read of it, perfect, phenomenal. Love Eliana and Riel so much. I love them. Anyways, bummed I haven't finished that, but I've had a mixed bag with that series this year. Um, I I started King's Bain, got 200 pages in, said, okay, no, we're scrapping this. I need to reread the first book. Um, and I reread the first book. I loved it. I loved it. And now I'm reading King's Bain and I love it so much more now that I read reread the first one. Next we have The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. And I am currently reading this. I am 67 pages in, I believe. And I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. Why didn't I read this sooner? We'll never know. I'm hopefully definitely going to finish this this year though. So that is another book hopefully ticked off. Next we have An Air Comes to Rise by C.C. Panoranda. I have one reason and one reason alone that I have not read this book. And that is because I'm going to have to binge buy the other three books that are out in the series. And I just, my wallet is not ready for that yet. So that is literally the only reason I haven't read this book. I think I read the first chapter or two and I was really enjoying it. Um, I just put it down. I wasn't in the mood for it. Didn't want it to take me an experience. So definitely going to be reading this next year. Maybe more towards the middle of the year though. But yeah, I also didn't want to start another series. I'm going to be honest. I'm in the middle of too many series. So that's definitely one that I need to get to. Don't know when, but I think all the books are on KU, so maybe I should just read it. Next, we have Revenge of the Shadow King by um, Derek Benz and J.S. Lewis. And I hated this. This was a reread from my childhood. I should have left it in my childhood. I hated it. Two stars. Wish I would have never read it. I had the other two books. They're on my shelf over there on the on home pile. Um, yeah, hated this. Hateful. Hateful. Hateful book. Hate it. We have Aurora Burning. So if you didn't see my vlog where I read this, link it up in the cards. Um, this was one of the worst books I've ever read as well. I think I rated this maybe three stars, but I might go back and rate it two stars. Um, okay, here's the thing. I loved Aurora Rising and I really wanted to love this. However, the characters just weren't charactering for me, if that, that doesn't make any sense. But um, they didn't have any chemistry, friend chemistry or otherwise. Um, I just didn't like this. That's that's all there was to it. It's also my unhaul pile. I took it down just for this video, but yeah, did not like it. Kingdom of Next we have Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the second book in the Kingdom of the Wicked series and I haven't gotten to this book yet purely based on the fact that I wanted to reread the first book and I just still haven't finished that reread. Um, this is the Bookish Box exclusive edition. Um, pretty pink pages, a pretty pink dust jacket, see, and then embossing. I love it. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm bummed that I haven't gotten to it yet, but um, I'm enjoying my reread of the first book, and I'll probably finish the series off next year sometime, so I'm bummed about it, but it's fine. Next, we have Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Now, even though I haven't read this book yet, I think about it all the time, and I want to read it all the time. I just haven't gotten around to it, so this is definitely one that I need to get around to eventually. Um, I definitely want to read it. It is like a standalone fantasy. Perfect. I don't have to start a new series. I can just read this and be done. 
basically. Next, we have It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Now, I think I might have bought this at the very beginning of last year, or this year, if not the very end of last year sometime, and I honestly thought I was going to unhaul this without reading it, but I'm so glad I read it. Um, I loved this. It was five stars. Phenomenal. I loved this. Um, it was really hard to read though, so check up on trigger warnings before you pick this book up, but I loved it. I thought it was phenomenal. Well worth the read. It was just, it was so great to read this. I loved it. And then we have Punk 57 by Penn Douglas. Um, as you can see, I've started it, um, and my tabs are actually still in it. Um, I'm not reading this book this year, unfortunately. This is just, this, this isn't gonna happen. Um, I might try to do a reading vlog next year reading Penelope Douglas. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I've read two of her books so far, and I would say they're Birthday Girl and Credence, her most popular ones besides this one. So let me know if you would still be interested in that. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. I think I'll like it, maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, I haven't picked it, I haven't finished it yet. I did like what I read, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I just, I just didn't finish it. We are on our last book. And I have good news. Probably one of the biggest books on my physical TBR for this year. Oh, my foot is asleep. Um, but that is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. And I read it and I loved it and I gave it five stars. And I'm spiraling ever since I finished this. I, I'm not the same person. This book made me cry because I was so happy. That never happens. That never happens. But, um... Yeah, this book was phenomenal. I love this. This is my favorite trilogy by her. However, the Chain of Gold series, I, I'm t I don't remember what it's called, but I think that might give it a run for its money. I really enjoyed reading Ghost of the Shadow Market and seeing all the characters. Um, I think I'm really, really gonna love that book. So yeah, let me know what was on your 2023 TBR. Let me know if you read them, what you thought of them, and what your favorite book that you read from that list was. Um, I have to say, mine, ooh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to choose, but mine was either Wicked Souls or Queen of Air and Darkness. I don't exactly know which one, but I loved both of them so much. They were both five star reads, so yeah, I love them. Those were probably the two favorites that I've read this year off of this list, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I will talk to y'all in Vlogmas Day 4, or Bookmas Day 4. Bye everyone!